The First Responders a Children's Foundation started in 2001, just three months after the 9-11 attacks. And since the foundation has been giving scholarships to kids who lost a first responder parent. This year, 20 years later, the foundation says they've given out more money and more scholarships than ever. I miss my father that I never had. Matthew Brophy's father, Thomas, was an NYPD officer during the September 11th attacks. He wasn't working the day that um, the planes actually went in with the towers. Um, and he actually came down here to help with his own free will. I think that says a lot about his character. His hero dad lost his life a short time after. Matthew was just three. He says all he had growing up were the stories and pictures of him. I hang out with a lot of his friends. Um, I work out with a lot of his old gym buddies and stuff, so I stay connected with that. His mother, a nurse, was forced to raise him all alone, but the First Responders a Children's Foundation was able to lift some of the financial burden off his family, helping pay for his college education. He's now a sophomore at Adelphi University. My mother, being a widow, um, that scholarship alone has been able to help a lot with my education. It has been a really emotional experience because you hear the loss and you hear the love and you hear the commitment that the families have made. Jillian Crane is the president of the First Responders a Children's Foundation. The foundation gives college scholarships to children of first responder parents who have been injured or lost their lives in the line of duty. According to the FDNY, more than 800 children lost a first responder parent on that fateful September day in Lower Manhattan. Hearing the, the stories of what these children have gone through, it's an amazing feeling to be able to help children reach their full potential, and especially to help children of our everyday heroes that risk their lives every day for us. At the World Trade Center site today, just two weeks away from the 20th anniversary of 9-11, Matthew describes what September 11th is like every year. You almost can't escape that day. Everyone wants to talk to the kid whose father passed away on 9-11 that day. The hardest part for him, he says. It's just not having a dad around. And the foundation says they've given over $700,000 in scholarship money this year alone. In Lower Manhattan, Jennifer Bisram, Pix11 News.